floor losses that uh, that need to just kind of mm. does it feel like you know you guys can breathe again and exhale because you finally won one? Yeah, it's definitely uh, uh, it feels good. Um, you know, that was actually our last win. So our last win was Oregon State. So you know, it felt good. You know, um, sucks to lose. You know, we've been practicing hard, which made it like hurt even more because like in a game it wasn't translating. Like we were practicing hard, having good practices, and then we got to the game. It was bad. Like communication defensively. You know, I feel like we got back to our uh, defensive tendencies, and you know, our scouts and we did pretty good on that today. Yeah. Uh, Bobby was very complimentary of your. Your leadership, just your vocalness. I'm sure that's mm -hmm. sort of consistent. But is, is there anything that you say or do differently? When you, you know, when the team's kind of struggling, and you're trying to resolve that. Um. So. I just talk, I have one on ones and stuff like because you know everybody has their own problems, personal problems. It could be school, anything. So you know I try to connect with everybody and see see what they're going through. You know, just just being able to say like, especially me and my brother. Like he says like the things that people are scared to say like. Or like get on somebody and just you know just be that leader, you know that's that's what we needed. You know we got some 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 young guys or some people that like haven't won as much. You know so I've been part of winning program. You know I just try to have my voice in there. You know, yeah I feel like everybody listen. Like we had a couple of meetings, like five meetings before so for those four game stretches. So you know I feel like everybody listening, and everybody's locked in. Now. Players only or coaches involved? Uh, everything, P players. Uh, coaches, starters, like we done had all types of different type of meetings. So yeah. Team is um, eleven and zero now. When you score double figures, are you will you wear that? And what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I talked to my brother about that, and then he he said he thought it was just him. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, no, no, when I scored double digits, but yeah, it, it feels good, you know, um, you know, just doing, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter about scoring, you know, I just try to, I'm happy if I get a dunk every game, you know, just playing defense, you know, just, just doing the, the, the dirty stuff, you know, that the team needs, so yeah. You seem to pride yourself on that, whether, you know, I noticed there were three or four plays in a row where you took a charge and then forced the turnover and just mm -hmm. doing a lot of those little things that translate into points, even if it's not you scoring them. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, like I, um, like at Auburn, you know, I bring that back. You know, we have, um, you know, all those good type of players. So, you know, I had to find my way. You know, just do, just do things to stay out on the court, and that's what I tell like some of our younger guys. They think it's about like scoring or, like, uh, or coach doesn't like them or blah blah blah. But I was like, if you, you know, guard, play defense, rebound, just do the stuff that coach likes. Like you'll be out there on the court. So yeah, that's what I preach. There we go. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Three minutes.